transforming your app. It's a, a pre-ordering app for the dine-out. And um, what we have achieved so far is that we, uh, we've been working on uh, the app in the last year. And uh, on November 2019, we have started, we have uh, launched an MVP on the market. Uh, and so far we have achieved uh, feedback from the market and we have um, worked on um, implementing uh, that feedback based on the both uh, sides. So basically we're an app that connects um, the users with the restaurant so a person can put an order and pay for it in advance so it can um, um, reduce the waiting time. Uh, so far, uh, what we're doing at the moment is that we have changed the uh, purpose of the app, uh, taking into consideration the uh, social context. We have changed our um, app into a uh, pickup. So far, um, so far, we have um, changed the main activity uh, just to match the needs of the market at this place. So um, from uh, what everyone has noticed is um, that the restaurants have a big um, um, struggle with the market. Um, many of them are closing right now and many of them cannot afford to work with um, delivery apps. So we are getting um, this need and we are uh, putting on the table an app that can help them uh, for the local uh, restaurant owners to use the technology even though they're not uh, that familiar with it. Um, what we're uh, getting ready for is that right now we are working on um, having a Sorry, it's very difficult to have it uh, digital. So, uh, carry on, Anna. thank you. Okay, so um, having uh, this problem right now is getting us to a big opportunity because if, um, right after this period of time, we'll have a big social gap, which we can cover because right now um, the delivery segment is getting a big side of the market but afterwards there will be there will still be a um, social gap that people will have when they'll um, want to go out so what we want to do is to bring a solution that matches uh, not only the pickup but also the dine out so diners can still go uh, and encourage this uh, this habit uh, at this point, we are um, focusing on the social uh, part. We are helping uh, restaurants to get to the social uh, connection with their customers. And we are uh, working on creating some campaigns that can uh, make a bridge between, uh, the, com between um, the activity of a restaurant and uh, how people can encourage the local uh, restaurants not to close and keep uh, keep, keep them open. Make sure you wrap up because there's just a couple of uh, uh, seconds okay. left. Uh, and the team, we have two developers uh, working on the app. We also have uh, one salesperson and uh, myself was a CEO. Um, so far we have uh, achieved uh, 40, almost uh, 40,000 euros as an investment uh, from the government. Uh, and we have um, fully developed the app. Okay, uh, and we are here for raising an investment. We are uh, ready to get on the market. Right now we are already on the market getting as a pickup app. And after this period will, uh, will end, we are um, ready to uh, grow. And an investor will help us uh, grow faster. Um, why you sh uh, why someone would choose us is because we are very uh, we are a business that is flexible and it's covering a gap that is not covered yet because by um, and <laughs> now let me just uh, pause you for a bit and we'll move oh. on 
smoothly to the Q&A session with another five minutes, but also with input from the jury members. Uh, dear jury members, please uh, raise a question right now. Who wants to start first? I can start. Done, yeah. Perfect, Sai. Go ahead. So thank you very much for your pitch. Um, my main question would be related to what's your competitive advantage compared with players such as Uber Eats, for example, on the delivery side, and players such as uh, TripAdvisor or Google My Business on the social connection between the, the restaurant and the, the, the users. OK, uh, first, thank you for the opportunity to uh, clarify that. So um, what Uber Eats, Takeaway, Food Panda do is delivery and pickup. Main activity is delivery, and they also add pickup. What we are doing is having dine out as a core activity. What uh, we have as a purpose is to make people go outside and go eat in a restaurant and to create that social environment. And uh, we have added the pickup uh, part to match the circumstances of the situation. So we are not in straight competition. We have uh, something that is connected to their activity. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, Dan. Uh, if you have anything uh, else to say about uh, what Dan asked you, uh, then you should do it now. If not, let's move okay. on to another one. Uh, what I would like to add is that our um, purpose is to uh, reduce the waste uh, mm -hmm. of the delivery. When you order a meal on a regular day, not on a, not on the days we're uh, right now, uh, you would have a lot of plastic wasted only uh, for one meal. So by going to a restaurant, you only have a dirty mm -hmm. plate. That's our purpose uh, is as a activity. Let's take some more of the uh, impressions and uh, reactions, questions uh, would be great from other jury members. Uh, please go. Can, can I go? Uh, yeah, I sure. Have brought, I have caused this. Uh, uh, how are you coping with the, the whole situation with the Corona stuff? I mean, the whole Horeca sector is completely crashing and probably it's going to be very slow for at least one and a half years from now. Mm, well, yes, this is exactly uh, what we're here for. We're here to help them. We are here to encourage them to create a bridge with their customers. Right now we have some social campaigns that keep the connection between the restaurant and the users. And right now we are focusing all our resources to help them uh, manage the situation. Right now we are offering our services to the local businesses that do not have access to delivery apps. For example, uh, places where uh, Food Panda does not deliver because they don't have um, uh, people working there. So right now we are practically validating our business on the local uh, segments of the market where uh, the market does not have the delivery market hasn't covered and by installing our app slowly in the market we are planning to grow and even though the segment will suffer after the economy slowly recovers we are gonna uh, keep the wave uh, with this uh, recovery growth let's uh, seize the chance to take one more question one last question who's gonna be the one uh, 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 telling a question asking like a question ask. I'd like to ask my question if that's possible. Please, please. Um, so I think it's a good thing that you can shift, especially in these times. Uh, however, you should think about your business uh, uh, beyond coronavirus and everything that's happening now. And I wanted to mention one thing, the fact that Keep Menu started almost 10 years ago from the exact same idea so their their original idea was to uh, set up a diner so to fill this social gap that you're speaking about uh, now the fact is that when people are going dining they're not in a rush so i do not have um as a main purpose uh, to speed up the process and book my seat and pay for my meal i'm going out and i'm going to relax 
this is why they um, got over this this moment and evolved the app and everything, all the platform into a food delivery app because uh, there wasn't a real need, actually.